Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I remembered something I wanted to share with you that I watched, um, I think it was last night. But this is from a, a team, a, a channel called Grafted In Dash Team Jesus. If you want to write that down, um, Every, every time I go there, I go through an email that she sends me. This particular video is called Amazing Revelation from Father on First Fruits and Adam's Rib and a few updates. All right. Now you might say, what does Adam's Rib have to do with First Fruits? Well, it starts out with her telling about her friend who calls her up, I believe she said, and she's telling her this dream. It had something to do with a Bible, and I may not get all the details exactly right, but it has to do with a Bible that she could see uh, Genesis and then she could see Revelation, but the chapters all in between were kind of blurry. Like, as, I don't know if she was flipping through it or whatever. She stumbled across it. And anyway, she's telling Kathy, she's Kathy and Dan that have this channel. All right, so she's telling Kathy this dream. And Kathy said, well, let me pray about it and see if, I mean, it sounds like God, but let me pray about it and get back with you. So she decided to read, um, she was led to read chapter 2, okay, about um, some, for some reason, something that the friend told her, uh, or maybe the Lord told her, I can't remember that part, but she said, um, I'll read chapter 2. So when I pulled it up, okay, I'm going to read just the chapters, the verses that talk about God pulling the rib out of Adam and creating Eve. Okay, so I'm going to start though with verse 19, chapter 2 in Genesis, verse 19. Out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the sky and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called a living creature, that was its name. It wasn't till much later that they, because of the Roman Catholic Church, had formed the Latin language, I think, anyway, all medicine and all legal terms ended up being Latin still into the last century, uh, probably still are, but they aren't used as much. Because when I was in high school, I had to take Latin because all nursing schools required it back then. Now it's my understanding you do not have to take Latin to go to nursing school, but I don't know about medical school. All right, so. Um, and I don't even know why I told you that. I guess, oh, because of the names. You know what I'm saying, how if you've studied science at all, you learned that, um, if I could think of one thing, um, say you went to, you studied plants, okay, what I call a daisy, uh, a yellow daisy, a botanist or a horticulturist is going to call something something Latin, so they use Latin also, and the plants, and uh, the plant kingdom. All right. Anyway, moving on. 
So he gives names to all the cattle. That would be all the animals that walk on four legs. And to the birds of the sky or heavens. The footnote says heavens. And to every beast of the field. But for Adam or man, there was not found a helper suitable for him. And suitable means corresponding to him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and he slept. Then he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh at that place. Okay, now this is so cool. Hang in there with me. The Lord God fashioned into a woman the rib which he had taken from the man. Okay, he took a small portion out of the man. She became his bride and God presented her to him. Okay. Now, the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Well, when Kathy was reading this, she got an one of those spiritual downloads, like an automatic ding, 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 light bulb goes off and God downloads into her about how the church is the body of Christ. Okay? If you can try to imagine the church as a body and the Lord Father God takes a small portion out to present to Christ as his bride is that not awesome even though the whole church ends up those who Repent after the first fruits. The, this is how the comparison to the rib to the first fruits. He told her the rib was like the first fruits. And you'll just have to, I could play her whole thing. And it, you could sit here. I'm Believe it or not, I have downloaded Screencast-O-Matic. And I... I've got to learn how to use it. I need to be able to concentrate. Learning has become quite difficult for me. I hate to say it, but um, only by the power of the Holy Spirit can I learn new things from the Word. And that's a shame, but actually that's how we want it. Because so many people take it on their own self to study the Word with all good intentions. But don't bother to ask the Holy Spirit to help them. So what happens? They, they start developing their own opinion, their own ideas, their own, Oh, this is what this means. And oh, I know what this means. This means that. And they're taking notes, and they're, they could be hearing from another spirit. Where do you think lies come from? Why do you think pastors preach so many lies, even on YouTube where they haven't even been to a Bible college? We know that those who go to Bible college get taught the lies from the Jesuits that have infiltrated all the Bible colleges pretenders to the faith, pretending to be an Assemblies of God scholar, Ph.D., because they just happen to learn what Assemblies of God believes, and so they 
managed to get in as a maybe a junior professor to start with and work their way up through the years until before you know it they've taken over a seminary I'm talking hundreds of years ago and then as denominations formed you get them getting their way into those as well Satan is slick he knows how to do all that stuff so anyway I hope you understand what what I just said how God took the rib turned it into a woman handed her back to Adam as his bride his wife and said for this reason uh, let's see yeah now this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man verse 24 says for this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh okay when the first fruits or those who have been found worthy those who have been chosen to be part of the bride of Christ and some others are taken away as the first fruits it is a small portion compared to the whole body and this is where many people just refuse to believe that the multitude too large to number appears in heaven after the sixth seal is opened because they don't want to think that they're not good enough that they would be left behind because all their life they've been raised believing this or that or the other okay I just caught myself doing that I am not doing the 666 sign it's just like I was trying to explain to one lady it's something we've been brought up to think means okay or perfection when you go like that to someone they're parallel parking as soon as they got in there just right you go like that or um, that's how we learned it is a okay okay so I guess Satan knew that and it would end up looking like many people were doing that 666 signal when they really weren't okay so now that got me off track I caught myself doing that and I don't do that I'm not part of Luciferianism <sighs> that just I know so many are and do that on purpose to show the world that that's what they're doing but anyway if you can see that this small amount is taken out of the church out of the body of Christ Christ is the head yes we are the hands the feet the ribs the guts the toes the fingers and you may think well gosh I'm nothing but a, I'm nothing but a fingernail I don't have any job or talent or ministry or whatever well maybe you should pray about it and find out you know what talents do you have you know maybe you're very shy and you aren't a good speaker well I used to be that way I did but only because of the Holy Spirit was I able to start speaking up I didn't even want to be on camera when I first started my very first video I kept the camera on a, a picture I had of Jesus from the Passion of Christ and then I thought well I can do this I because I was shaken you can tell it was shaky I had to set the camera down and I thought about just setting it 
on a pretty something like one of our sisters does SD she she sets hers on some pretty candle or something others do it too but I just thought well I gotta learn to do this and I just gotta do it so I started being on camera and only by the power of the Holy Spirit have I been able to do this and I know he could help you to do something too there are many many ways to be a witness for Christ buying chick tracks and taking them out I've mentioned things before making your own homemade if you have a printer and I was going to show you one time and I forgot um I don't tie I don't tie I got this out quite a while back now this is these are all the tracks that I have designed over the years since I got to go to college when I was trying to be something because I couldn't be a nurse anymore okay here's one I made to give out at Halloween Halloween trick-or-treat now look when you open it it has this on it now I just you know I typed it in what I wanted I drew the pictures okay then you open it again and you've got some more words and then it says continued and they have to figure out that the only way is to open it now because I didn't want to use up too much ink on each one I used a light brown a person with normal vision can read it but this is all that I wanted to say okay so on the back okay you've got what what's the harm in that okay so when you turn this you've got your front page and when it's closed I've got all my references that I use to put the information so now how would you do this if you didn't have the program I had you cut and paste literally all right this is the very first one let's see no this is the one I did in the semester I had to end up dropping out and taking this graphic design to over again but I was making this I literally we literally had to cut and paste like I took a photograph of my grandson at the time and titled it it is not a clear-cut issue this is all about the chemical weapons incinerator in Anniston Alabama that I was fighting <laughs> I was helping to fight so I used pictures to tell the story but you would probably want words you can type out a square of words like okay take this page instead of pictures imagine you just typed this you take this size this is a regular sheet of printing paper all right you see when it's all opened you might think oh this is so confusing I can't no this isn't this is 11 by 14 this is what I used in college but you can make these out of an 11 uh, to eight and a half by 11 whatever size you use you fold it in half lengthwise okay then you fold it again and again however you want okay you type out what you want it to say or use a picture draw a picture if you're an artist if you could sketch it all make stick figures if you want you 
type that, type out your different sections, pa literally paste them. Your printer will print it out and then nobody would know. Then if you do see a little thin black line, take advantage of it. Take a marker, not maybe a colored pencil, and you can go around that and use that as as the line to kind of just add a little tiny bit of color if you want depending on how many of these you're making or just leave the little black line it doesn't matter see my pictures didn't come out with little black lines around them see i was just showing different family members you know and who it all affects in your family okay all right now that's one now look at this one isn't this cute i just designed this this was made out of regular printer paper you play around with paper almost like origami it's totally blank on this side and and imagine see i've got a picture of jesus in here i made these for our family reunion one for each family so it didn't i didn't have to make but about each brother and sister and my mom and dad like 10 of them 11 12 however many there were at the time all right so i put do not let your hearts be troubled you can draw it color that in you could hand I have handwritten one of these. I don't have it here with me because I didn't know I had no longer had the program. So I had to make them by hand. I hand wrote them and then just printed off about 80 copies, folded them up, handed them out here. And that's the last one I made but you see you just figure out what you, what do you want yours to look like do you want it fancy do you want it simple make it easy look at this one this is what I did when I took graphic design too she wouldn't let me finish making the one I was making so I did one on kids doing drugs do you really know what your what your children are doing after school it looks like books and a coke but when they open it whoops that's what they see cigarettes and drugs you see pills on the notebook and a, and a beer yeah that's a beer can Okay, so then I talk about substance abuse. Open it up. See, this is an eight and a half by 11. Okay, I won't show her face. I promised her no one would ever see this if she let me use her and her daughter. My husband and his son, my husband was 5'1", and his son was like nearly six feet. <laughs> He was taken after his mother, so that that didn't didn't, didn't look right. So I used my neighbor. I told her no one would ever see this but my teacher. So you write out all the facts of what you want to say about the gospel message. And if you can get a hold of a picture from a book or a magazine, you can t copy and paste, cut, cut, cut and paste. Okay, that's where cut and paste came from. Whoa, 814. Eight I just got an 814. How about that? I haven't had that in a long time. Well, anyway, then you just fold it however you want. This is how to make your own. I had to cut and paste everything on here that I wanted on here. And then do it on the program that we had. Okay, that's made by Apple. They were very expensive. But as students, we got them for $500, three programs. Okay. 
what I get? 814. I got to look that up. Okay, I'm in Blue Letter Bible. So now let me go to 814 and we'll see. Let's see, that's H814. So I've been there before. Okay, let's see what this says. A tactose. Disorderly. I've been there before. Now, now, isn't that odd that I would get 814 again? Okay, this is, this is the Greek from 2 Thessalonians 3, 6. It shows the Greek word, which is explained by the added, more Greek words, uh, and then 2 Thessalonians 3.11, where it is explained by more Greek words, often in Plato. And the verses are, Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you keep away from every brother who leads an unruly life, and not according to the tradition which you received from us. 2 Thessalonians 3.11 says, For we hear that some among you are leading an undisciplined life, doing no work at all, but acting like busybodies. Now, now that I can see, because what I'm talking about is doing something. If you're not doing anything at all, are you doing no work at all for the kingdom? You see, this is where it is so bad to, to believe you don't have to do anything. You say your prayers. And maybe you read some in scripture, but you're not sharing with anybody. Maybe not you all, but somebody you know. But let's take a look at H814. I do remember getting coming to this number before. Now, what are the odds it went out again at the same number? This is Eshkar, masculine noun, which means gift or present, or gift, a gratuity, a gift or present, Okay, so it's, it doesn't mean to present something like the first fruits to Jesus. It's a present. It's a gift. This is in Psalm 72.10. It's used, let the kings of Tarshish and of the islands bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba offer gifts. And then in Ezekiel 27, 15, the sons of Dedan were your traders. Many coastlands were your market. Ivory tusks and ebony they brought as your payment. So payment is also H814. Okay, so it's gifts or payment. A gratuity, a gift, or a present. So, how do you think that goes along with what I'm saying? Somebody had wanted me to teach how to make your own uh, Bible tracks. And that was just four examples. Okay, it just all depends on how do you want to fold it. Um, oh, I was going to show you one more that might help. 
this is one that I okay okay this is this is better thank you Lord all right this is the finished product a little book about love let me pull up this so I can see okay all right see do you see how it's stapled in the middle all right it's several pages but it all came from an eight and a half by eleven this is the whole book it's blank okay wait let me let me look at this page yeah this one is same thing I think I oh I tried different fonts see but that's I tried putting little pictures in it but then using using up the paper I had the little pictures if you can see that's Jesus in there if you used white paper and had enough ink this is I really used a dark font see I could have used a lighter font and it wouldn't have taken up so much there that's really dark font too but I you know I'm just dramatic that way see here I I reduced the font real small to fit in references those are biblical references all kind of scriptures and um, anyhow when you're done dividing your paper you divide it up into equal squares okay I'm trying to figure out how how I cut this up because each page is two see there's there's two page there's this looks like it's printed on the front and the back but these are two exact here you go I took a half a page you take a half a page here, here's how you do it okay after you print this out you have to cut it all up and then you have to take one of these and figure out see this is my template you see that which page is one two three four five six see back front page one this becomes page 12 you have to figure out which of these squares is page one what's page two and when you've got this all cut apart you literally paste them in place that's how I did it that's why it's two-sided but yet when you're printing this out the first copy you're only printing one side you cut this up you glue it on here alright then you can print one of these alright now listen then you cut it off and you print another one you cut it off and you you can get it where you can glue it on you glue one here and you glue one here then you glue the backs here and you glue the backs here and that way when you start running a whole bunch of copies you're getting your two you're getting two tracks two Bible tracks on one piece of paper without wasting half a sheet of paper does that make sense I hope so
listen to this a few times and if you still aren't sure send me an email and I'll be happy to help you if you really want to do this it's a lot of fun if you are artistic okay and this is what you end up with and you can title it how you want whatever you want to say and you just you have several little pages like a little chick track of your very own if you can draw great put some little illustrations in there those cute little you can get some great ideas off of google images man carrying cross there's some really cute little simple figures and they're cute so anyway, I know I, I said uh, a lot there, and I probably lost half of you, but for people who really want to, to make their own Bible tracks and you don't have any clue where to start, um, this, is, this is a way to do it without the expensive Illustrator program. Okay? I'm so glad I kept all this because I was trying to figure out how did I cut these up and staple them all together and yet ha the backs are blank and then this reminded me. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, this is some... I have very little of what I did in college left and this is just a few things that I did that I was pretty proud of and and wanted to keep I wanted to keep so I could if I ever wanted to make them again maybe I could figure out how to make them using um, this technique instead of the illustrator program so um, I wish I had the one I did by hand, but it doesn't matter. That's That gives you an idea of how you, too, could do something like that to pass out information about the Lord that we're in the end days, that the news, just look at the news. You could say, just look at the news or extra, extra, read all about it. You could put on the front. And then you open it up and say, look at the news. Can you tell? We're in the end days. Let me show, let me prove it to you. And then when they open it up, you can have your columns of, if you can get pictures. I know you can snap pictures. You got to be careful about copyrights now. If you take a picture of, say, a Fox News report picture and you put it, you get it developed, you can get things developed at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, places like that, so that you can take your picture, hopefully you've taken it with the right proportion because now unless you can scan it into your computer and print it back out in the size you need it and then cut it out and glue it onto your draft okay well I think I've left you with enough ideas this is getting long but wasn't that very interesting about Christ taking, or Father taking a small piece like the rib out of the body of Christ, the church, as a first fruits to him. Anyway, I pray I made sense and I'm going to leave the link to the Brideon channel grafted in team jesus and they have a chat room going on 24 7 i don't know who does it in the middle of the night 
somebody does and you you can just go there anytime you want spend a few minutes come back out go back in come back out whenever they're not uh if you go on at a time when they're recording i think someone tells you live recording going on now and you can go from there to there um Anyway, if you want to know how to get connected with Kathy and Dan, let me know and I will send them an email. I will send them your email address or give you their email address. How about that? It's, um, if you go to this chan if you go to this link that I'm about to put up here, or if you can't see the links, you can go to brighteon.com. All right, you don't have, you can make your own account or just put in the search bar up here, grafted in dash team Jesus. And I think this is like their third video in. It's called Amazing Revelation from Father on First Fruits. And Adam's rib and a few updates. Okay? All right. With that, I'll say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection, over myself, my computer, and over each and every one of you, your devices, and your internet connections as well. And I hope I didn't bore you too much with the details on the brochure and you probably left if you didn't want to know anyway <laughs> so anyway god bless each and every one of you that was here even if you're not because <laughs> i understand um i don't listen to stuff that doesn't pertain to me anyway and but hopefully if you wanted to know how to make a brochure so you could pass them out then that's how to do it i'll say bye for now y'all i'll talk to you later probably not tonight